Well, hey fam, how you doing this evening? I'm Eve with the baby's booty. And tonight is all about purple. Yes, it is. Yes, girl, yes. <laughs> so hopefully by the end of tonight's show, you won't be super sick and tired of purple. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. But for the time being, tonight we are going to do a super easy project. It's going to shake up everything that you've been doing before. Uh, but if you are in the space of embroidery, then we're going to have some fun tonight. Um, this is a super easy project. It's a lot of fun. It's super cute. And there's several different options out there. And we'll get into all of that here in a little bit. But meanwhile, I want to welcome each and every last one of you. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us tonight. You could have been anywhere else, but you chose to come and hang out with us here. But we all are a big crafty family, so we thoroughly enjoy each other's company anyway. <laughs> so first and foremost, one of the main things that I do like to point out in our show early on in the show so that you'll remember and that you'll have time. And there will be another reminder before the end of the show is that our resident one of our resident rhinestone designers has a new set of offerings available to you this week and they expire. They're on sale right now. The sale expires in 24 hours. So you have 24 hours to go and get your hot fix rhinestone designs from the rhinestone mechanic. It's always super cute designs over there waiting on you to go and grab them. Meanwhile, I also want to let you know that for those of you who were not able to participate in this last buy-in, we have right at today's the 14th, almost 10 days, technically 10 days before the next buy-in kicks off. So if you have not participated yet and would like to, or you weren't able to participate in the last buy-in and you're making plans for the next one, or if you're just curious and want to see what it's all about, the next buy-in will kick off in about 10 days days okay so just letting you know that ahead of time so that you can be prepared i get questions all the time well, i didn't know it had started bam the calendar is on the website <laughs> go grab it if you want to know what the dates are for the rest of 2024 okay they are on the website for the buy-in but if you don't want to wait on the buy-in and you want to get your hot fix rhinestones right away so that you can make super cute shirts like this one. You see that bling? You, you, Jimmy, you see that bling? Don't play. Don't play. Don't play like you don't see it because I know you see it. This is a super gorgeous design and it is on um, all of these rhinestones are on hotfixfix.store. Okay, so definitely go check that out if you are interested in getting hooked on the bling as well. All right. So you guys, I am going to go in and say hi really quickly because we have a project that we're going to do tonight and I don't want to waste any time whatsoever. So let me go grab a howdy do to several folks. We do have a couple of folks, Fat Look Creations, Kelly Wyant, and Simply Blessed Hands. Welcome to you guys. We also have members in the chat who are members here on this YouTube channel. So let's say hi to them. Ms. So Crafty is here. Hey, honey, welcome. I tried texting you. It didn't go through. <laughs> I was checking on you. So shoot me an email so I know you're good. Well, you're here. So hopefully that means you're good. Bridget Porter, one, welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. EJ's daughter, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Precious Pieces, hey, honey, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We also have Sharon Davis. Hey, Sharon Davis, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Linda Gray's a YouTube Hoop Group member. Leela Nelson's a YouTube Hoop Group member. And Kevin Moore, which we love to death. Welcome. We love all of you, but Kevin is a whole nut. <laughs> He wants us to bling at all times, and we appreciate it. So welcome, Kevin. Thank you for hanging out and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We appreciate you. We have Ethel Smith Ames, Jill said Lower Check, Karen D, Gail Designs, and Sheila Cushionberry. Welcome, and thank all of you for being here and for being YouTube Hoop Group members. Ms. Zelda Brown, Geneva Coleman, 
Make it with Marilyn. Welcome and thank you for being YouTube Who Group members as well. Miss JB. Hey, Greg Barker. And we have Picture Me Crafting. Hello. Welcome and thank you for being YouTube Who Group members as well. Hey, Tanya and Miss Nini's Designs, Judy Angelman, Porgy Town, Patricia Johnson. Welcome and thank you for being YouTube Who Group members as well. Nicole Reeves, Linda Gray, Porgy Town, if I hadn't said it already. And then we also have, who else do we have in here? Let's see, Craftable Things. Welcome and thank you for being YouTube Who Group members as well. And a few of the others that are in here, we got Jesse Gibson in the house. We have Vicki Bain. Hey, honey. Nini Greater Calvary Baptist Church. Welcome. Karen Knighton, Denisha Baldwin. Let's see. I skipped a few names. Cheryl H. Welcome. I got some stuff I want to show. Can I show your stuff? You said it. I could. Sonya Burnett, Andy Smith, Stacey Herbert, Elena, welcome. Nick Nick Nurse, welcome. Thank y'all for coming to hang out and Terry Hunt. I'm going to scroll to the bottom, even though I do see we got a member for 23 months, 755. Media have new acrylic brushes and medication for your hill. Holler! <laughs> Holler! Which is very ironic considering the what we're going to be making tonight that's ironic but welcome and thank you for letting us know you've been a member for 23 months we really appreciate it hey mama bye how are you so let's scroll down so if you are unaware and you're new here we do celebrate babies here so if you have a new baby we definitely want to ring the bell for you and uh, celebrate with you because a lot of folks don't realize around us families and friends generally don't catch the vibe and the excitement that we get when we get new toys so if you got anything new just let us know so that we can ring the bell for you okay so let us go over to the cutting table actually let me do something first before we go over there because i need to cut that camera on i haven't done it yet and i want to make sure that y'all can see this super hot wig that I have on the entire time that I'm over there at the table because I'm not wearing it for nothing. Okay, so let me send myself self the link so that we can get on over there and then we'll get started. So I'm going to switch the camera and show you first of all something super dope that I received from one of our viewers. Then I also, thank you, Minerva. And I also want to um, show y'all some other stuff because I had to go back on my word, y'all. Oh, it didn't hurt my heart, but it did. I had to go back on my word. Let me switch. I switched my microphone. And then let's see. Here in a sec, let me see if I can't get this on because y'all know me and iPhone don't really get along like that unless the grandbabies is calling. Then me and the iPhone is good because I get to talk to the grandbabies. Okay, oops, that was the wrong thing to do. Um, Let's see. Let's see, let's see. I don't know how to find, let's see, is it, oh, is it right here? Oops, it's stuck. Y'all getting old, I tell you. Oh, that was it was right there. Hang on. All right. There and there. Oh, yeah. Now I got to cut this microphone off right here. Boom. Okay. Okay. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Not yet, Mr. McClacken. Not yet. Okay. Oh. So, okay, so let me turn this microphone off. Let's see. Oh, you couldn't hear. Now you can hear me. Hey, y'all. Um, Cheryl, Shell Lynn got a new baby. She got the baby lock trial. Holla. Yes, honey. Yes. And then I have a new baby lock, Brilliant and Flair. Congratulations. Holla. 
<laughs> yeah, honey. Yeah. Somebody said human babies. No, fam. We done shut that 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 particular factory has been shut down and burned to the ground. So yeah, we're not talking about real babies. We're talking about um our our machine babies. Let's see. Um let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't I can't find who said that. But at any rate, I did ring the bell for that. Love it. Thank you, Miss Jazzy G. Charles. Hey honey bunny, welcome. Um, did she give num lottery numbers? I don't do anything dealing with the lottery, <laughs> fam. Really quick, I want to show you guys really quick something super awesome that was sent to me. Um, one of our who group members, Miss Cheryl H. She does glass work, which is super cool. I was hoping one day at some point in time in my life, Mr. McQuackens would love me enough to let me play with glass, and it, to a slight bit of his credit he did but in a different way not like this though you know what i'm saying so like she fires glass and all of that stuff and she made me these gorgeous coasters man how beautiful is that look at that glass it's absolutely stunning um so we've got some coasters i just want to show you her work now she's in the hoop group so i'm pretty sure i don't know miss cheryl do you do your pieces and sell your pieces um, I know you do on location at certain boutiques. If so, let us know what area you're in so that they can look for your stuff. But I wanted to show them, y'all, because they're just so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I intend to use my coasters, of course, in the living room. And then probably some, uh, what are these bowls for the, probably this one for the pens, y'all, because look what she did. I swear, y'all really know how to make a healthy feel very special look, look what look what do y'all see how adorable is this okay <laughs> greg said a picture of me and my twin oh that little thing is a mess I'm trying to tell you how adorable is that and then she also included this one where it says start each day with a hug and a kiss and then it's got a little Hershey's kiss in there, which, you know, just one, Miss Cheryl. That was a tease, but it's all right. I appreciate the gesture. And then a glass heart is in there. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I love, and all of it is purple, y'all. All of it has purple to it. And then this absolutely stunning um, black glass dish. And my earrings are around here somewhere, too. She also sent me some earrings. I think, oh, here they are. And look, glass earrings. How gorgeous. They are absolutely beautiful. So I just wanted to share that just because she didn't have to do that. It was super sweet of her. Um, and I love glass things. As you can tell, we do acrylic and clear everything around here. So I definitely wanted to show this stuff to you guys so that you could see it and reach out. But it's Cheryl H. If you see her name in the chat, give her a shout out. Let her know that you love her stuff. And she'll let you know, hopefully, if she's... I'm sure she's still in here because I saw her earlier. And let you know where you can find her in in certain shops or whatever. All right, you guys. So I also need to let you know that I kind of went back on my word on something. Yeah, I kind of feel bad, but I don't feel bad, right? So I told you guys that I have banned myself from buying fabric, okay? And I had to go buy fabric today to work on the project that we're gonna work on today. So today's project is what's called a shaker project, okay? And just like its name says, it's a shaker. We've done some shaker stuff before, but these are super cute. This is a medicine bottle, as you can see, and it's got little pills in it. So I had to go get vinyl so that we could do our shaker project tonight because I, I didn't have any clear vinyl that was gonna be strong enough to do this particular project. And I also got some um, really pretty faux leather. So this is, see how it's like that holographic look back there? I bought that as well. So that technically is fabric, but not fabric. And I also got some felt so that we can do um, projects with felt for in the hoop, right? And I also want to point out something else real quick. And hopefully it'll help me, help me with some brownie points with Mr. McQuackens. So a lot of times I'll see stuff and I'll see projects. Um, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Miss JCG Charles, congrats on the new Cricut hat press and go-to crab auto-rotate press. Hello. 
Yes, honey. Yes, congratulations. That's what's up. <laughs> congratulations on that. Um, have fun. I, I have my craft press back there. I have yet to bling it and use it. I really need to use it soon. Um, but I often see projects out there. And one of the projects that I came across was shaker pins, where the barrel of the pin is filled with liquid and you put stuff in the barrel, glitter or um, little uh, polymer pieces and stuff in there to make them look super cute, right? And so I went on the bins one time and I bought some stuff. Like I got little footballs. I don't know. You probably can't see it that well. But these are little teeny footballs. And then I have little teeny erasers. I don't know why I was on a school kick, but whatever. I think I was planning to make some gifts for a couple of the school teacher friends that I have. These are little rulers. These are little uh, pencils. Um, alien heads, because I'm not wrapped tight. Um, and then little froggies, little froggy heads, little sports balls, right? Little dollar bills, dollar, dollar bill, y'all, dollar bill, y'all. Um, little chalkboards with the apple, little flowers, polymer, these all polymer clay, and then some little random pieces. And look, it worked out absolutely perfect for this pill bottle. Because it kind of low-key looks like pills. And I was like, you know what? See, I was like, Lord, why do I be spending money on stuff sometimes knowing full well that I don't get to make stuff out of it like that? And the Lord was like, it's okay, my child. I'm going to guide you in what you can use this stuff for at a later date. And it came to me today. So I was able to use it. So sometimes you might get stuff and hang on to it and don't know what you're going to use it for but it comes to fruition later. And that's what we're going to do tonight. So Vanessa Bradfield, you got a new Cricut head press and Hoopmaster Home Edition system. Congratulations on your new baby. Hiya. Yes, honey. Yes. Hey, Renee. And Zelda Brown got the new go-to craft tumbler, rotating tumbler as well. Congratulations. Hiya. Yes, honey. Yes. Congratulations. So let us get ready to get started on our project because I'm going to use this again. We're going to make another one because I, I messed up on this one a little bit. I didn't finish the back of it. So I want to make sure that I do this again and make it super cute and uh, finish the back of that because I thought it was, do you think that's super cute? Hopefully y'all think it's super cute. There's another piece that goes with it. The link to this design is in the description below. Um, and it has another piece that, that you can make to go with it. It's a little square key tag. And it says, don't forget to take your meds. Um, and I just thought that was because the majority of us in here is on pills. Okay. I'm just, I'm just being truthful because that's what it is. Oh, somebody earlier asked what my shirt says. It says hugs. I apologize. I did see that. This says hugs. Um, this was a design that put, Patrice made in one of our rhinestone designing classes a couple of a month or two ago. All right, so I have my here is the um, holographic faux leather. I went to Joann's. I haven't been to Joann's in such a long time, y'all. So we went today, and I lost my whole mind because I bought a bunch of other stuff too. And if we finish in enough time, I'll show you that. Um, but I'm going to cut a piece of this for right now, um, so that I can use it with our project. And then I also have, um, the clear vinyl, but I'm gonna cut that separate here in a, well, I already got an extra piece right here. So I got my piece of clear vinyl. And as you see, it's kind of stiff. See how it doesn't really flop around too much. I also bought another yard of a thinner uh, vinyl like this and I don't like it so I'm going to stick with this thicker vinyl and I also wanted to ring the bell you guys for one more baby okay so I wanted to introduce you guys to Yanni we got a new baby and this baby I meant to switch this camera hold on let me get this camera set up so that y'all can see Yanni better because this baby, I have been wanting for a very, 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 very long time. And when you see 
Yanni, you'll know why I've been wanting this for a very, very, very long time. But let me introduce you guys to Yanni. Hold on, let's switch the camera over. And then again, it's like, I gotta give a shout out to Mr. McQuackens because, you know, I, I've, I've had the band myself for a lot of stuff, but he let me buy this one. And so I'm just like super duper duper excited to finally have it. And this is Yanni. Uh, she's big, she's a big baby. But do you notice anything special about Yanni? What do you notice that's super? Matter of fact, let's let's show her better this way. What do you notice about Yanni? Absolutely, y'all. I am tickled. I am so tickled. I am so tickled. I've had to beg and cajole and everything else to get a hold to this baby right here. So I am super excited to have a Burnett embroidery machine she goes up to six by ten this um i don't even know what size hoop this one is right here it's not the biggest hoop but she is absolutely gorgeous absolutely love this so i am super excited to do some projects with you guys on the flatbed single needle machine so i just wanted to you know i just i've been oh y'all girl mr was like you know what and it's kind of Sheila Cushenberry's fault because <laughs> we got to talking about something one day and, you know, I was telling her, I was like, that's my dream machine. And she was like, you, I got something similar. You ought to get it so we can learn how to use it. And I was like, mm, I can't get this machine. Mr. McQuacken ain't going to let me get Nan the other. And he was like, you know what? Go ahead and get it. I said, you know what? I don't even like you and Sheila Cushenberry right now. Because if Sheila Cushenberry said that I could have a new car you probably let me get it because that's just a trip so yeah i'm so excited my baby is learning y'all yes, honey <laughs> yes. yes i am so 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 excited yes shay shay um this is a sewing machine combo embroidery machine um this machine so we did go and do some um we did go and do some uh what do you call it not reconnaissance but we we did some research beforehand that's why i knew you know this was an awesome machine but the one we went to go look at was not the purple version we looked at because this machine comes in a non-purple version okay and it's a lot less because it's not purple uh but anyway we went to look at it i talked to the manufacturer and she was like look the machine is solidly built there's very there's not any plastic on the inside of this machine whatsoever it's a swiss built machine it's a very sturdy very strong these machines do not break or anything like that she said it, it's a very well built embroidery machine and i was like but i already have embroidery machines but they're not purple <laughs> and i thought about taking them outside and spray painting them joints but then i was like you know what but it's just you know and this is a specific edition it's by yaya han um yaya han which is why i named her yanni but yaya han is a uh costume designer she does um uh what cosplay so making the um costumes and stuff is what she does and what she's known for and they let her design this machine and fortunately she loved the same colors that i do so this beautiful shade of purple just i've, I've been drooling over it for a good while and he he was nice enough to let me go ahead and get it so yes we are going to start doing um a lot of really nice projects and such uh, with the embroidery machine, um, now that doesn't mean we're going to be ending with the bling because, you know, we got to have bling. I can't not do bling, but we will start doing more <laughs> more embroidery stuff. And Shay Shay said, when's the class? I'll let you know. Is this good for a beginner, Tracy? Um, what I will say is from what I've heard and from what the research I've been doing, like I said, we've seen this machine for 
a good while. I know it's close to a year, if not longer, um, this particular machine. And no one complains about this machine breaking and stuff. So I was like, well, yeah. And then when I went and the lady was like, okay, but it's all metal and stuff. I was like, okay, you know, we might have to jump ship a little bit and do something a little bit different. And so that's why we went with this one. Um, now this machine, um, like I said, it is sewing and embroidery combination. I will say it was what I had to do when I took it out the box. I had to change this, the throat plate, the, the uh, sewing plate. I had to change this. That's why it's still a little bit loose. Um, because this particular plate, it just has one little bitty hole in the middle. This is the embroidery plate. They have another one with a, a wide hole in it that is the sewing plate. So you have to switch that out or you should switch that out. They recommend you switch it out if you're going to be doing embroidery. Um, and they also recommended that I switch out the bobbin case, which is down in there as well. It comes with two bobbin cases and two of these plates and switch that out as well. So that's what I had to do with that. Now, the other part to this is if you are not familiar with an embroidery machine at all, like you've never used an embroidery machine in your whole entire life, then you should be fine learning this machine. But I'm not familiar with Burnett. So it took, you know, a learning curve for me to figure out what I needed to do because I'm going from one brand of machine over to the Burnett. And I will say that I unpacked this and started putting it together at eight o'clock tonight. And I was able to manage to get a whole project stitched out and learn what to do for the most part to be able to stumble through a project in that short amount of time. So um, you want to keep that in mind as well. Do they have classes when you buy that machine? CJ Spice, when, uh, when the place that we went to, the sewing center that we went to, I did not buy this at a physical location. I ordered it off the internet because most of the physical locations near me that I talked to did not have this in stock. Um, so they uh, did tell me that if I had have bought the non-purple version of this, yes, I would have had access to classes and that kind of stuff. But they didn't have this. So they would have had to order it and all that whole jazz. And at that time, when I was standing there talking to them, I wasn't at a place where I could get this machine. Um, so I wasn't able to get it then, but um, fortunately was able to go ahead and get it now. So yes, we do, um, depending upon where you go, I would check at your uh, sewing center where you can purchase, a, it has to be a Burnett authorized dealer and they'll let you know if they offer classes and stuff. But the one that I went to in Boone said that they did. They did. So it's a good possibility I could go there and get more information. But knowing me, I will probably find some videos and I downloaded the manual. I'm a manual reader. So I'm going to go through that manual uh, when I have, uh, when I'm not live and learn this machine a lot better. Because to me, you can't learn any better than learning from the manual itself in most instances. What does color have to do with the operating of the machine? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely not a darn thing. Honestly, it just makes me happier to see purple while I'm stitching. And I wanted it, so I got it. And it makes me want to stitch on it because it's it looks beautiful and it's what I wanted. So that's why the color um, made the difference for me. But yes, there is a sister version, a twin to this machine that is not purple. It's, uh, what color is it, uh, Sheila? Because she has the non-purple version of this machine magnetic hoop i don't think there is a magnetic hoop that comes with this i don't know because i haven't looked into it yet but um i will definitely look into it because i do have the magnetic hoops to the other machines that i have kawana i was told this is a better brand i prefer purple as well i <laughs> I don't have anything bad to say about the other two embroidery machines that I already have. I don't. 
but I do hear spectacular things about this one and the fact that she said everything in here is metal. So that was that was the other thing. She said mine is just white and it's the B70 embroidery only. Okay, I'm sorry. So yours isn't quite the twin because this is embroidery and sewing. But the embroidery part, yes, is the same. You do have a magnetic hoop, Shay Shay. Don't play with me right now. So I have a lot to learn. I'm going to be learning a lot. And I look forward to learning with you guys. That's the plan. Um, learning and then teaching you all. So tonight, we're going to go through a simple project. A very, very simple project. Like I said, it's a um, peel shaker bottle. Super cute. So it has little stuff in it. It has the vinyl on the front to make it look like a little peel bottle with some peels in it. Um, and if we have enough time, I'll also do the other part because this design, if you buy this design from the website off with their threads, they have another little teeny key fob that goes with this that kind of can hang with it. This is remember to take your meds or something like that. So we're going to try and make both of them. Okay. That's the plan. Um, but that's what we're going to do tonight. Okay. So I already have the design loaded. So for the time being, I'm going to slide this back a little itty bitty bit so that I can get the stabilizer on here. And as you guys know, I get my a lot of my embroidery supplies from DIME, which is Designs and Machine Embroidery. They um, supply just about anything you need for home embroidery projects with the single needle machines and so they have this super cute stabilizer box absolutely love it i just pull out the stabilizer to the size that i need let's pull this back out a little bit and so i'm gonna get it to the length that i need and then do the little slidey cutter thing and that's that i'm done love this box it works so perfectly and gets the job done efficiently yes you can do it with scissors but it's funner when the box is prettier okay all right, so let's take this and we'll put this in the hoop. It's super easy. All I did was lay the stabilizer over the back part, the back part of the hoop, take the center inner part, press it down on a flat surface. It's nice and flat. And then I flip, there's a lever with their hoops right here. And I just flip this lever down to lock it in place. And so now, Tight like a drum, super cute, gonna be a lot of fun, all right? So I'm gonna slide this on, all right? And with this project, it doesn't have um, the placement stitch. So a lot of other in the hoop designers, they'll have a placement stitch that stitches out to show you where to lay the fabric. This, this particular project doesn't have it. So we're just gonna lay the fabric on top or the faux leather. We're just going to lay it on top because I know around about what size it is so it shouldn't hurt anything just to lay it there. Okay? Um, no, I'm saying what having a purple machine has to do with them offering you the class. Nothing. No, 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 no. Elevate. This is the problem with getting the classes is because they didn't have the purple machine. Um, The purple machine they would have had to order it. And I didn't have the ability to get this machine back then. I want to say that was in November or December. It was one of the times we went to the mountains. It was either the time Mr. and I went or the time that I went with the grandbabies. Either way, we, we stopped by the sewing center there, Burnett, uh, I'm sorry, Bernina authorized dealer. And I knew they were, and I knew that usually the Bernina places uh, advertised this machine and I had hoped they had it but when I went in they, they didn't have one and so um, I know that was the Lord telling me no at the time even though Miss McQuackens was kind of sort of telling me no too but they did have this version but not purple in the store and I mean he kind of was saying no anyway so it worked out but they said if I had bought any one of their machines in their store, yes, they would do classes. But I did not buy this machine from them because number one, they are two hours from me. We were there on vacation. Um, 
And then number two, they didn't have it. So I would have had to gone up there two hours or call them, had them order the machine and then go pick it up two hours away so that I could do classes with them. Instead, I bought it from Ken's Sewing Center online. So they shipped it to me. I think I got it in like two days because they had it in stock. And I didn't have to wait on them to order from Bernina, then get to them, then them get it to me type situation. So that's that's the only thing with the purple is I want it purple. I want it purple. So yeah, I want it purple. I just, I saw the machine a while back. I'm telling you we did. And I was like, hey honey, isn't this pretty? It's like purple. And he was like, don't you have machines? I was like, ah, it's okay, yes sir. And I left it alone. Um, but like I said, she looks back to the rescue. Holler. Okay, sorry. Um, HBCU Babies Boutique. I had a Bernina sewing embroidery machine for a few years. You're going to love it. I also received my Caesar Romeo last week. Did I ring for you? Did I ring for you? I hope not. Because I'm going to ring again. Holler, Wendy. Yas, honey. Yas. Romeo is the bomb.com. Yes, that's what. Thank you, Sheila. I didn't even. That's how slow I am. Didn't even realize you was ringing like that. Um, let's see. Hey, crafty Puerto Rican. Looks sort of like a baby bottle because of the top loop. Yes. So the top loop is um where you put the key fob. Key. Uh, mm. it's where you put the. I haven't done it yet. It's where you put the hole and the grommet for the thing i can't talk right now okay all right so let's go we're going to i already have this same design loaded okay so the link is in the description for this and it's off with their threads um and she has a lot of shaker um embroidery designs shaker meaning you use this clear vinyl and then you stuff the stuff in it and we're gonna do that tonight all right so let us get started. I already have this now. Like I said, <laughs> um, having this is only my second time using this machine. I'm still tripping that I was successfully able to stitch this out because I was struggling at one point. All right, so um, we're going to. I think this is ready. No, I don't remember. There we go. You got to go to the sewing part, and then you walk through the steps. I think that's it. Is it locked in place? Yeah, it's locked in place. Okay. And nope, I guess it's locked in place. They want to make sure I got the right hoop on here. And is that it? Hopefully that's it. We'll see. No, it ain't wanting to let me. Okay, so of course it's going to act up now that y'all on here. Because I was doing just fine. Okay. Um, There we go. It wanted to do what it wanted to do. I did turn it off, y'all. That's what it was. I turned it off. Good night, Renee. Have a great, restful night. Okay. Shay Shay said you hated spending the coins, but you struggled with the hoops that came with the machine. Oh, um, so it can be a struggle, but I guess because of having to use the hoops that came with the other machines that I have, um, I kind of got used to it, but we'll do some stuff together and we will, um, get projects and get them done. Okay. So it did the last thing. And let's see what it's going to do now. Actually, let's do this. Okay, so there's that, there's that, there's that. Is it gonna let me go? It's gonna let me go, okay. Another thing this machine does that I've never seen before, that I was like, okay, it stops me and tells me to cut the thread, which is funny because 
I used to stop my other machines and cut the thread on my other machines. So I think that's kind of a trip that this one like has it built in for me to stop and cut the thread. I don't know if that's, if I can skip this and program it in to skip this and all that jazz, I don't know. But once you, I can ignore it and still hit the go button and it'll still do its thing anyway. Light over here too. Let me see. Hopefully that'll help it where you... Oh, I see you. Sorry, okay, my love. You broke your five by seven. Oh no! Oh, you can't break yourself, ma'am. Okay, so this is kind of like, um, oh no, we can't do that. Hold on. Because folks tend to call, and this thing is super duper loud. Okay. All right, all right. let me move that. Let me turn it down. Um, so I can take this and I can trim around now, kind of like applique. Good night, Joanna Smith Smith. Um, I can cut around this now, or I can cut it after the fact. And for me, I cut it after the fact. Thank you for being a member for 24 months, John. Yes, honey. Yes. Hey, Barbara Bonaparte. So this is the Bernina Burnett. It's a B79. And it is a um, Yaya Han edition of this embroidery machine. Embroidery uh, sewing combination machine. All right. So now that I've done this, on the design, on the website, Off With Their Threads, her background is orange. Mine isn't. So I ended up switching and using orange thread to kind of give the peel bottle look. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And actually, let me back this up so that y'all can see this part too. Cause I was like, oh bro, that's what's up. Okay. So here up here is where the thread is. Here's my thread spool. And I run, not ironically, but the way, if you're familiar with embroidery machines and sewing machines, you kind of treat them the same way. So this thread's just like any other single needle embroidery machine, okay? So I'm going to pull the thread out and switch my threads. So here's the orange. And you have to follow the guides completely on these machines, okay? And this one does have a automatic threader. So that's good, although it's, it's automatic, but it's technically not but it is okay so you pull that down even though you can't really see that but if we need to do a lesson on this machine we'll be more than happy to do that as time comes but not tonight they want you to go down and then up and around and then pull it forward to catch that and then push this up and there's our threaded needle and we're done. Close that off. And now we're ready to do the next. And it's going to tell me, it's going to stop and ask me to cut the thread. See, after a couple of stitches, it's like, okay, you can trim your thread. But I can ignore that and keep going. Um, step is going to take two minutes, it says to stitch, I guess. 
and 11 minutes to do what's left from here. Of course, notwithstanding me adding the other parts to it, I need to get the uh, ramen part. And all of that is right here. So that part is done. Now what it's going to do is start this part up here. And that's the top part of the uh, cap. And what I did to make this part, because I didn't, I wanted, can you see how it's textured and stuff? It's a little bit thick, a little bit fuzzy. So I didn't have anything that I thought would do well with that. You know what I found worked really well? All I did was cut the extra from off of this and the back of it is white. So I just used that and I set that right up there and I'm using that for the um, lid. to make it easier for me to see how to trim it, okay? Good evening, Sylvia. So now I can see where I'm going to trim that. I don't have applique scissors in front of me, so I'm going to trim this with just my regular scissors. And I know that's like... Technically a no-no, but that's what I'm going to do because I ordered new applique scissors. My applique scissors that I've had uh, with the duckbill applique scissors, um, they the the this part kept coming loose on those stupid scissors, and it was like I don't care how many times I tightened it up. I don't care what I did to those scissors, the darn things would loosen up and it would just not work well. So I said, you know what, it's time to let those go. And so I bought some new ones and they're not here yet. So hopefully I'll have those by next week sometime um, and can do applique properly for our next uh, few projects that we'll be doing with applique or type of applique because technically this isn't it is applique but it's not this is an in the hoop project uh for those who may not be um very familiar with embroidery one of my absolute favorite things to do with embroidery is what's called in the hoop and what in the hoop basically means is Whatever it is that you're creating, everything is done right here in the hoop. You don't have to take this off or out um, of the hoop and do any additional sewing at all. Everything is done right here. And it's just, it'll, you don't have to worry about anything else, okay? In most instances, you don't have to worry about having to do anything else. 
So I'm trying to trim super close to this bottom because this is where the um, vinyl is gonna go. You don't have to do this that close, but I'm just, I don't know. Cause it seemed to stitch out pretty thick. So it shouldn't have any issues. Okay. So there's a ratchet looking job, but it's okay. Hopefully once the stitches go in there, it'll cover most of that up. All right, so now let's change back to the white thread, okay? So let's, you can't see, whoops, sorry. I bopped y'all all upside the head, Lord Father. Okay. All right, so let's change the thread back to the white. Crashing from Kate. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's funny. We got to be careful with those sweets, man. All right. And so let's go there. Yay. Getting faster with that. Love it. All right. And so here is our needle threaded. And so now let's go ahead and do the next step. And it's going to ask me to trim. I'm not going to. Yes, I do have some cuticle scissors, but I'm trying to behave and use the right thing. Well, at least these, they say, they say cuticle, but I've been using them as trim scissors. Okay, and so now it's going to do the, um, this design part right here. And now, while that's doing that, I'm going to work on getting this grommet put in here. Um, and that is here. Where those pieces are. 
be able to pull it out. I have a, I have another set that's supposed to be screwed in right here and right here, so I can switch them out to the right ends. And of course, they're not on here. What is that called? Tool called? It's a leather punch to make the hole. It's a leather punch. And it's at, um, they have those at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they have it at Michael's. And they should, theoretically, they should have these at Joanne's. But this is a leather punch. And as you see, it's got a twisty wheel that will let you choose different sizes. So you can go a small teeny hole or you can go big and it helps a lot with these kind of projects so let me do it the opposite way i'm gonna put the other part the male part in on that side and see if that makes a difference i think that was, i think that's where i messed up i did it backwards I try to keep a tool for rivets and a tool for snaps so that I don't have to change. There we go. I did it backwards. So there. Now see how it's spread open and it's gripped. Even though that front part, I squished it too hard, but it doesn't matter. So now I can put a keychain in here and it'll hang like it's supposed to. All right. So that part is done. Now that our, let me take this off so that you can see it. So here is the uh, top. And as you see, because I didn't trim it super close, it looks kind of gross. Let me see if these will trim it down a little bit more and not make it look so gross. I'm being particular and I shouldn't be because I ain't got time to be particular really. Um, but it's going to be good enough. So at this point, the top is decorated the bottom is there. So now what I need to do is put my vinyl on top. Okay. So I kind of just put the vinyl right here and then I'm trimming it later. So I'm just lining up the vinyl with the bottom of that. I didn't find instructions with this particular design, but to be fair, I was rushing. So it's a good possibility. I've overlooked the designs to this. Um, but it didn't really show. Um, I didn't see any any instructions, so I've kind of been like winging it. Now, normally on, like I did with this one, I changed the thread color right here. I'm not changing the thread color, so I'm going to not use orange anymore. I probably should, but I'm not. Oh, Shay Shay, this would be fun for them. This would definitely, oh, you can't see. This would definitely be a fun project for them. Sweet, you'll probably be able to do the other part too. Okay. So now that that's done, we're going to now is where you add your stuffing stuff to go on the inside okay so i have all kinds of glitter and stuff that i could put in here but because the back is so shimmery the background i, I just didn't want to do all of that um so i didn't but what i could have also done now that i think about it i could have did like i did the top up here and did the background white by flipping this fabric over and then when i do the back part for the next time, like now, then I'll leave the shimmery for the back. But we're already here at this point. So this is where we're going to go with it. 
All right, so here is my um, pack of confetti, so to speak. But these are polymer clay pieces that I bought from a company called Resin Rockers. And uh, she has a whole ton of confetti, uh, polymer clay stuff to go in tumblers and stuff like that and for resin. And that's what I bought it for. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a little bit like that. And then I'm going to pull this up some and just drop it down in there so it'll slide in that pocket that it made and kind of tap it down. The eyes going down in there. And a couple more, not a whole whole ton. Only did two pinches. Of course, you can put however much you want in there, as little or as much as you'd like. And there's that. Okay. So now that that's in there, now we can move to the next step, which is it's going to now close all of this up. Okay. So let's slide this back on. And hopefully I brought this up high enough where to close it up without too much of an issue. Actually, let me shake this a little flatter than that. Whoops, sorry y'all, Lord Father. I'm just giving y'all headaches and stuff. I apologize. Let me spread this out some. Cause it's kind of clumped up and I don't want it to be clumped up and want it to lay a little flatter than that. All right, now. Okay, so y'all, sorry, this is like totally in the way. Okay, so is it possible to put a name across it? Yes, you should be able to, but you will need, of course, to have an embroidery editing software pro uh, program to be able to do that. So like right after this um, lid part stitches, I would program in the name to go over the top of that, that would be super cute. Or um, instead of putting the confetti in, maybe you could put a name there. I don't, I don't know which route you would want to go, but definitely across that lid would be super cute. All right, so now that that's stuffed in there, we can tell it to go, and it's going to because it's thick, so it's gonna start doing the border and hopefully I did not bring this down too low and it'll catch that plastic and keep an eye on your yeah it's catching it good, 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 good. keep an eye on your confetti stuff because if it shoots up that way and comes out then it'll break the needle so you do have to be careful. All right, so that's done. And now let me go check and see. That's why it tells you to trim the threads because to keep this kind of mess from happening. Got stuff all over the place. All right, so let's take this off and clean up this mess because there's stuff everywhere. There we go. All right, so if you can't see it, let's tilt this down a little bit. So as you see, now this is, no, look, it didn't catch it. It's still open. So I cut it too, too short. That was a my bad situation. But it's not the first nor the last time I'm going to screw up. So what I'm probably going to wind up doing is gluing this down since I messed it up. But just to show y'all after making you dizzy show you where to not make a mistake where I have been making a mistake. All right, so what I should not have done, I should not have lined it up across the top of this. I should have just let it be, cover the whole thing. And then once it did this, not the whole thing, but once it 
cut that out, then I could have trimmed this later. You see what I'm saying? But I didn't. I cut it too, too short. But I know what glue is and glue will glue that shut. So now you can trim this vinyl away and it will be done for that part. And if I'm not mistaken, I need to go check the pattern, uh, which I have it pulled up on my Sew It Pro so that I can see the steps. And you can actually see the steps on the machine too, but I don't know how to pull that up. I just know there's something like, I think 13 steps or something to this program. I mean, pattern. Okay, there we go. So that's done. And now I want to put, cover the back. Cause look at all of this, this looks crazy. So we're gonna cover the back with the same glittery uh, holographic, sorry, material. And then we'll be done with this. Okay. All right. So there's that. Let me go check my steps. So according to the machine, I'm on step number eight, according to the machine. So let me see what... Oh, my trackball is over here. Where is my... Okay. So there are nine steps. So now I need to put the back on here. All right, so let's turn it over. And I'm going to cut a piece of this to cover the back of that. And I'm going to tape it down so that the back will be super cute too. You know what I'm saying? We want the whole thing to be adorbs. So where is my... Let me use this tape right here. You could use letter beads and spell out name and use as a dangle. Sheila Cushionberry. Stop jumping ahead, fam. Stop jumping ahead. You're jumping ahead. <laughs> I told y'all I went to Joanne's and, and I didn't lose my mind because I've lost my mind in stores before. I, I did get some stuff, though, to go with this project. So we're going to do that here in a sec. So all I did was tape it on the sides. So that the back will be super cute like the front and you won't see all that embroidery mess on the back side. Okay. So let's slide this on. And now that that's on, let's stitch this. This. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Let's cut that. Look what happened. It came off. Look at it, it came off. I wasn't paying super close attention. And I didn't do this number right here to squish it and tape it really good. So always pay attention to your stuff when you put your stuff on the back. And I got my hand up under here. I know you can't see that right now, but see how my hand is. I'm feeling it to make sure it didn't shift again. Okay, so now let's do that. Okay. I need to figure out how to go around that. Oh, Bonaparte is a new member. You've been a member before. Thank you. Holler. Y'all, honey. Y'all. Are you talking about this project? This project is very beginner friendly. Most of your in the hoop projects are beginner friendly. The thing is just being able to follow the steps. Um, now I need to warn you with this particular designer, I didn't have a really good walkthrough for this design, which is part of the reason why we're stitching it out together. And the other designs that I got from her, I do intend to do a stitch out together. But because we've done embroidery designs so long and so much i kind of put two and two together and was building off of experience of designs from 
times in the past. So I forgot the first time I did this, I forgot to add the material on the back to finish it off. But this time I remembered, okay? So there's the, there's the back, there's the front. And as you saw, for the most part, it just was a bunch of um, switching out threads, honestly, and making sure that you lay stuff just right. So we'll do it again, not to not this part tonight, because even though I could, I got time. Um, but to show you the basics of this, okay? And then it's a two-part design. So I kind of want to do the other part as well. So let's tilt this down. And now I can take it out of the hoop. I didn't stitch the last step because I had already stitched that uh, first uh, accidentally. So that's why I didn't stitch it again. So now you need some good scissors. And then we're actually, let me use these. Let me use my other scissors, my serrated ones. Okay. So now I can cut this out. Just, whoops, I forgot. I got to glue that down since I didn't do it right. And just be careful not to cut through your stitch line. You see that white stitch line? That's your guide of where to cut this out. You don't want to cut past that, okay? And just take your time. I'm going to have to glue that shut. Ugh. So frustrated at myself for not putting it high enough. I knew better and didn't do it. All right. These serrated scissors are not super comfortable, but they're the serrate serrated edge helps me cut um, easier so that it doesn't hurt as bad as regular scissors with my arthritis. So, oops. so if I look like I'm struggling, I'm not really struggling, I'm just a little bit of pain. Okay. Super cute. Okay, so now I'm going to trim this. And now we've got a peel bottle. So if my cutting skills were a little bit better, I'd trim like right in there. I'd probably trim a little bit closer than that right here. Just a little bit closer. Not super duper close because, again, you don't want to cut your stitches. Okay, because that would be disastrous. All right, and then there's your shaky confetti on the inside, even though not mine, I'm going to have the glue closed. And then here's the back. See, the back is super cute. Look at the difference by remembering to do that last step and putting your stuff on the back. Big difference, right? So here's the thing. Now we want to punch the hole with the leather punch. And that's what this is. It's super sharp. These uh, pieces up here are sharp and they'll punch through this leather. So you want to line this. You want to line this up with the circle that it's stitched on here. And like I said, you can just squeeze tight and you'll hear it click. Usually. Hold on. It'll click. And then once it clicks, I kind of just do this number right here to make sure that it cuts all the way through in a nice clean circle. You can also get what's called a crocodile. A crocodile, from what I understand, will do the same thing. Um, and then now that we've done this, I need my grommets, which I don't. Oh, here they are. And again, these eyelets, sorry, not grommets. I, even though technically they're grommets, they're smaller versions of it, but these are eyelets. All right. And so I'll go in here, grab a color. Let's grab a light purple this time. And I'm going to try not to squeeze this hard this time. So again, here's the, here's the eyelet. You see how it's made? So what I want to do is make sure that the pretty side, which is this side right here, goes to the front of my project and stick the, not necessarily, so stick it through so that the rougher side is on the back. 
so that when it spreads open, the spread open part is to the back. Okay, so all I did was just take it, stick it through that hole just like that. And then I got my, um, these are my eyelet pliers. So this part that's sticking up, I want it to go to the back side because what's going to happen is when I squeeze it shut, it's going to, when I squeeze this shut, it's going to take that, that open part and it's going to spread it open like that and fix it where it won't come open, um, where it won't come out. All right. So let's take this and see the, see the pointy part. I'm putting it in, in the back, back there. And then I'm going to squeeze it. Not as hard as I did the first time because I jacked it up. Okay. So there we go. It's in there. And I'm going to squeeze a little bit. Yay. So because I didn't squeeze it as hard, look, there's the back. The back looks much better. And then the front looks perfect. Let's look at the difference between the two. When you squeeze too hard and when you don't squeeze too hard. See the difference? See how I jacked it up? Made it look like I kind of like punched it at the top and punched it in the lip or something. So, yeah. Now, I just, this would have been perfect had I not dropped this too low. So, I'm going to have to glue that to make sure that that stays shut so that my shaky stuff don't come out. And so, now, you can take a split ring, put it in here, or you can, um, hold on, because y'all know how this is, it's on a, a bouncy thing. So, give me a sec. Sorry. Let's grab our keychain stuff. All right. Sorry everything this is like over in the way and so i got this little kit i have a link in the description to my amazon store a lot of this stuff is in my amazon store um so i have this where i can um either attach it with the chain or i can attach it with the circle with the split ring this is called a split ring um so i can put it on that way and there we got us a keychain. See? Super cute. OMG. And so now you got this part, okay? So it's 1023. Let's do the other part, the other design, because I don't even have it on the embroidery machine yet. So let's grab that so that we can put it on the embroidery machine and make our other part to our keychain. Cause it's a two part design. All right. Let's see. So I'm gonna move this and set it behind us this time. And then while the uh, second part is stitching, I'm gonna show y'all the other stuff that I got today from Joann's, okay? So here's the back part of the hoop. Let me tilt this down a little bit. So that you can see hooping. All right. So I know you mentioned you had the magnetic hoop. And the magnetic hoops are great. I don't want to definitely don't want to take that away from the hoops. But this is my, uh, this is a cutaway stabilizer that I'm using. And so I'm going to take my hoop. Let's see. Hopefully that'll help. Okay. So I'm going to take my hoop. And I'm pull out enough to cover this hoop all right and then i'm going to cut it with my stabilizer cutter thingy all right so now i have stabilizer that's big enough to cover and hang over all around the outside of this hoop okay so now i'm going to take this and all i'm going to do is just lay it right here on top make sure that it's covered all the way around then grab this part and squish it in just like so. So here's a nice fit. And then I'm going to take this tab and push it closed to make it tight. And that's it. You shouldn't like if you can't get it to snap tight, then this is too tight. And then twist this to loosen it up and then snap it closed. OK, but that's what you're going for is that drum um sound okay so let's put this on all right and then i'm gonna do the home key 
and I'm going to switch my camera to the other camera while I go and um actually that's that one so let's do this bloop okay now I'm going to grab this other design give me a second to put this other design on here and then we will do the other keychain. It's super cute. It's super small and super simple. Um, and it's right here. All right. Um, downloads. And we are doing take events. And this is going on my e drive. All right. Okay. So here is my USB. So let's put that on. Let's go to embroidery. We're not sewing, we're doing embroidery. All right, so all of that is done and I need to go here and let's take this out. All right, and so let's open up our design from our USB stick and this is it right here. And it says, don't forget to take your meds and I'm probably going to do this. Let's see, this is white. So we're gonna do some reverse stuff. All right, so let's go here. Let's go here. And now let us do, I'm gonna make the front of this be white. And the back part of it, I'm going to make rainbow to match this, okay? So, let me cut a piece of this to go on my project. Because this is very small. So, that should be big enough. And if I'm not sure, there is a way. Where did I find that earlier? Um, is it right here? Somewhere in here, there was a thing where it would check your area. And of course, right now, I can't find it. So I'm not going to worry about it because I don't want to waste y'all's time. But it did draw out the area for me earlier. So let's go with the first. I didn't have a place to stitch the first time. Okay, and so the next step, I believe, is the don't forget to take your meds part. I didn't pull this one up, so hold on. Let me pull this one up. Because I like to see my steps um, laid out. Okay, that's white. That's that. That's that. Okay. Okay. So they're wanted. So the next step is there's a picture of a little pill down here in the lower right hand corner. Um, so I'm gonna do white for the first part of that peel. Okay, oh, that's pretty cool. So you pretty much could, um, like for instance, color this design to match whatever awareness it is that's going on if you wanted to. All right, so now it's gonna do the second color. 
which I'm going to go ahead and change the color to orange to match the pill bottle on the other part of the key fob. Okay. So we'll go here and then go back here. And then let's pull down our threader. Down. Up and out. And that did not work. I'll be having to figure it out. Not figure it out, but make sure that I'm holding it right. There we go. Okay. And now let's stitch this part. And then I'm going to... See how that's sticking out? Now that's why they're saying go ahead and trim that. switch to black I probably could have left that orange but it'll be alright because then that way the teal will stand out Ready. And so I'm so used to letting the thing down with the other machine. Okay, so it says to trim that. Now, what is what type of vinyl is this? This is called uh, faux vinyl, basically. So faux vinyl is kind of like pleather. That's the best way I can think to call it. It's like pleather. Don't forget to take. So let's just get ready to do an alphabet so it's gonna take a minute. So while that's stitching, I'm gonna show you what else I got from Julian's today. And I got it. To embellish my um my key fob, right? And it's gonna take a minute, so you know, whatever. We got some charms. See, as a matter of fact, this is just we got a few little charms that you can put on the thing. We got some little hanging things with rhinestones on them. Not the finer things bling, but it's still cute. I got some ball things. I just Y'all, I lost my little bit, lost a little bit, a little bit lost my mind. Got letters so that I can put initials on there if I wanted to. I got, even though this has nothing to do with mermaids, but I got some mermaid stuff. This came from Joanne's family. Joanne's family. I got, again, nothing to do with turtles, pineapple, seahorses, whatever, but I got that thing, like a key chain. Um, so like some beading to like hang beads. This is purple. So all the purple things came home with me today. 
also got these, which are little crystal colored charms. Different colors. It's pink, blue, kind of like a little white crystal, kind of like a topaz and a cyan looking color. Um, I also got little teardrops, same jazz. These are like little crystal looking clear. Flaws. Got four of the mermaids. I thought that was totally adorable. Um, more beading. So this is purple, purple beads. Even though on that camera they look blue, definitely not. And this beading. Sharon Davenport, thank you so much for it. Give everyone in the family our love here, please. Please give everyone our love. Now, what I also got was because this is a no worries, Sharon Davenport. Tell everyone hi. Um, because this is a shaker keychain situation. One of the other things on the Off With Air Threads website, which is where this design came from, um, one of the other things I noticed, instead of like this small confetti, she also used bigger stuff. So like I saw, I found these. These could go in there if you wanted to. I saw these out of Maryland. So like these could go in there, like a shaker type situation in the background of the keychain if you had something summery of course they ain't got nothing to do with pills but another shape because she also has a heart shaker shape a diamond shaker shape um a octagon shaper shaker shape she has all kind of shapes um here's some more shapes that could go in there in the background for a little girl you could do ballerinas so it was just, you know, getting some things to show you guys what you had at your disposal. This is cool stuff that could go in the background of these shakers that you could, you know, kind of make it unique. It doesn't have to be um, the little thin, small confetti. Yeah, those buttons are so adorable. Um, so yeah, we got, you know, quite a few things to make this type of a project a lot of fun, um, and make it different little ice cream cones, you know, so it's, there's a lot you can do, um, but for this shaker, since it's peels, and we already got the stuffy We can hang, I don't know if I'm going to do beads, because the beads need a thinner uh, setup for them. We can definitely hang something else off of it. We can hang an initial, possibly. Oh, this was so cute. Oh, 
so good. Oh, that works out. The letter E is white, it's not black. they can do that's not true there's a lot that you can do with a four by four machine so let's go to our orange and finish this up and then we'll be done for the night and yanni can chill herself and then I can chill too and get out of this wig. Hello, Barbara Bonaparte. Thank you so much for the super chat. Give me one moment and I will ring the bell. There we go. Thank you for the super chat. Hey, yes, honey. Yes. Yas, honey, thank you so much for the super chat. What would be a good embroidery machine? It takes, I love this one, fam. I'm so far, I've had a ball with her. It's only been an hour. I wasn't crying, I wasn't snotting. I wasn't like, oh my god, this is a mistake. What did I do to myself? I, I haven't had any of that yet. Um, if you want to give me a month to see how this goes. Now, I still will never take away the how great the other two machines have been to me because, you know, they're good machines. Um, but in this instance, I'm definitely loving this. I think they did not send it to me. <laughs> but I definitely want to get this straight. This is not a sponsor, nothing, okay? So... This is definitely an out-of-pocket expense. They did not send this machine to me. Um, I don't have an affiliate link with them. I don't make any money telling y'all to go purchase this machine or like it. They don't know who the heck I am, and that's okay with me because I was able to get this because this is what I want. Um, but this machine I purchased from a Ken's Sewing um, I think it's Ken Sewing Online or something like that is the name of the to hang off of her key fobs and stuff to make it super cute. You 
be able to see all of her hand sewing center. Thank you, Miss Carol Bowman. Thank you, Miss Carol Bowman. That's the baby doing. Thank you, Miss Carol. She is good. False baby. But Lena Duo, this one does take the 6 by 10. Whereas the other machine that I have, the biggest angles, is 5 by 10. There's not a lot of tutorials with this machine. Oh, shoot. Okay. Layers panel on the machine that confuses me. Okay, Shay Shay. We'll definitely make that a point. Definitely make that a point. Oh, you're welcome, Vanessa. I'm, I don't claim to know everything, and I don't. A lot of times people think that what we have here on our shows sent to us. That Romeo back there, I bought that Romeo. I paid for that Romeo. That was not sent to me. Um, I did just receive the Romeo though. Um, but that one I bought in August, I think, or September of last year. I purchased this uh, a couple of days ago. Yes. Yeah, no, because I paid it a couple of days before I unboxed it because I had the baby, so I couldn't really unbox it. Um, so I've had this not quite a week though. It's maybe about four days. I bought this. I bought both of my other small single needle embroidery machines. Um, I bought my <laughs> graph tech. I mean, I bought everything that you see in this video. For the most part, I paid for it, all of this. <laughs> so, yeah, both of the P press, HTV run, now the laser was sent to me but you know that there's no fail and my thing is this i paid for it so if i don't like it i don't have anybody tell me that i can't say you can't say that this is wrong you can't say that that is wrong no i can say whatever the heck i want because i paid for it and so this one be immediate by it and i'm just thankful Mr. that he let me get it because I've wanted this for a long time. This is a Bernina. A Bernina Burnett. It's a Swiss made embroidery machine. Embroidery slash sewing machine. And this is the B79. All of the internal parts are metal. <laughs> she said, I think the business is free. Girl. Girl. And I told him, I was like, well, she was there. She got one similar, so I can show her how to use it. And he was like, okay, you know what? Go ahead. Y'all, I was jumping up and down. It still took me a good three, four weeks to work up the dirt to pull the trigger to get it done. It was not an inexpensive machine. Um, this the six by ten is the biggest of the boat. He just wants you to be happy. Well, mine want me to be happy too, but he also wants me to be reasonable in in spending, which I can't be mad because it's just me and him now. So, you know. So the next step is the back side of this, and then it'll do the circle at the top. Now, I'm gonna show you, you know how it'll start stitching and then it'll stop and tell you to cut the threads. See how I got a lot of threads that's just sticking out right here? That's because I wasn't cutting them when the machine was telling me to cut them. So I kind of got stuff all over the place, but that's okay. I can trim this after it's done. Um, cause we got 10 minutes and it won't take me 10 minutes to finish this up. So I'm gonna trim this one real quick. And now I'm going to put the back part on here so that it'll cover up. Look at all of that. So it'll cover all of this. So it won't look a whole hot mess when we take it off. Okay. So let me cut a piece. And I found this at Joann's. 
fabrics. It was on a great big roll back there um, near the vinyl, clear vinyl. It was actually right up under the clear vinyl. So if you go to Joanne's, that's where I got this from. If you're interested in it. Okay. But I thought this was such a cute design. And like I said, there's other shaker designs um, that she has that I do want to do more of her projects with you guys. Because I like looking at the different, I like different designers and what they all, you know, have. So, whoops, sorry, I know it's shaking. Okay, and so I'm going to go ahead and trim this in orange. It's an old machine and I'll be using for so many, so I have no idea how it works. Classes at the store to learn, only get it from personal items. Now, single needle machines are good. Vegan leather, yeah, you can use vegan leather. That can work too, yeah. Because most of the faux leather, vegan leather, all of that stuff is just not real leather. Um, you can make these projects with real leather. You definitely can. Um, but that's a personal, you know, decision if that's something you want to do. But yes, me and Leather definitely work for this project. All right, this is the last step, and it's the circle at the top to show you where to press with the leather punch. All right, and so it just shows the whole design, it tells you that it's done, and here we go. I made the white front, I'm sorry, made the front white. And then the back is going to match our um, shaker, okay? So that's why I did it that way. So now that it's done, we can take it out of the hoop. And this is a complete keychain, which is why it's called an in-the-hoop design. The entire design was done inside this machine embroidery hoop. So no matter what embroidery machine you have, I don't know of an embroidery machine that won't let you do this type of project unless you can't get a design uploaded to the machine. So keep that in mind. Even with the large multi-needle machines, you can do these types of projects. Um, matter of fact, even with the large embroider, the multi-needles, sometimes you can fit three, four, five, six, seven of them in one hoop and do a bunch of them at one time. Um, and then you're able to knock out a whole bunch. But even with this machine, you see the size of this, you can knock these out um, with a six by 10 hoop and do more than one or two with that one. Okay. And so there we go. I need to trim it up and clean it up and make it look better. What time is it? 1055. I got five minutes. So I'm going to trim it up and take a better picture of it all nice and clean. But for the time being, I'm going to get my uh, leather punch again. And I'm just going to line this up with that hole. All right. And now that it's lined up, again, here it is. I'm just going to squeeze until it clicks. And once it clicks, I twist it a little bit just to be sure there's a clean cut. Open it up. And there's my hole. Let's grab us another rivet. I'm sorry, eyelet out of here. Rivet, I'm sorry, a rivet is where it seals it shut. It doesn't leave a hole. So I was saying the wrong thing if I was saying rivet. I apologize. This is an eyelet. Um, I use the lighter color. So we'll go back with that. I think, yes, I did. All right, and again, I'm going to take this uh, part that sticks up, sticks out rather, and push it through so that it sticks out through the back like so. And then I'm going to take my 
eyelet pliers and the part that sticks out right here. See that part that protrudes right there? I'm going to stick that to the back side. All right. And then I'm going to see it's in there now. And then I'm going to kind of like squeeze gently. When you feel it give, then you can let go. And there, see, I still squeeze a little too hard because it kind of squished it in right there in the middle. You see that? Gave it a lip, but it's all right. It's spread out in the back. So that's not coming out. And so now I have a keychain set that you can get to go together for your set. So let's put this in. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it back to back, I think. No, actually I want it front to front. So let's do that. And that was that. It was super quick. It didn't take very long at all. It took me more time to, um, because the machine stops, I gotta figure, I'm gonna figure how to stop it from doing that so that it'll keep going, even though that's not a bad thing. Oh, it ended up back to back anyways. Um, it's not a bad thing for it to tell you to stop and trim it because like I said, it, it made, you know, kind of a mess. So let us switch cameras and I'm gonna take my trim scissors. And again, I appreciate you guys for welcoming Yanni to the dream team over here. We appreciate being able to have something super pretty in the uh, family now to work with. And it's the right color. Holler. So we're super excited to have her join our family here uh, at the baby booty. So let's see, let's switch camera. There we go. So thank y'all for coming to hang out. Let me change the mic. Uh, settings, audio. There we go. Okay. So thank y'all for coming to hang out. We made a super easy, super, super easy in the hoop shaker keychain. Um, and as you see the little bee ball thingies. Oh, my mic is muted. Sorry. All right, All right, thank you for joining, joining us. Um, um, as you see, we made a super easy keychain. Key chain. The, the, um, it's, it's called a shaker because it's got the stuff. stuff on the inside. And it's supposed to be a little pill bottle. And then we've got this one to go with it. It says, don't forget to take your meds. Um, it was very easy to do. This is an in-the-hoop project. And you could easily make these um, find folks that... who Who would you... Matter of fact, I'm not even going to tell you. Who would you market these to? I want to know your thoughts. And before I tell you who you would market this to, who would you market these to to make money off of this? Because it is cute enough to sell. It's easy enough to sell. And if you have an embroidery machine, you can whip these up in no time. As long as you got your stuff cut, laid out, ready to go, you start putting them on and just let it go and stitch and you can get these whipped up i promise you can very very easy and once you do one once you do two and you get your rhythm and you know at what point to add your uh vinyl on the top and at what point like if someone asked earlier about adding a name once you get all of that worked out or however you want to do it then you can easily take this to the next level and it don't have to be just ordinary either. So who would you market this to? She said, everybody, my patients, if allow, yeah, medical, if you got, if you're in the medical profession, anyone with a car, teachers, nurses, doctors, many, many others, pharmacists, yes, seniors, older folks, absolutely. Um, nurses week is next month. Didn't know that. New parents. <laughs> right. Uh, elderly, yes. Oh, sorry about the echo, you guys. I forgot that other phone is on. I need to kick it out. But so yeah, this is this is something that you can do to easily make a few extra dollars. Um, 
whip them up, get them done. I done trimmed most of the stitch. Look, look at how cute that is now. Super cute. You get some faux vinyl. Hobby Lobby often has their faux vinyl strips. It's a it's a spool of faux vinyl about yay big. And I forget how many yards is on it, if it's a yardage at all. But it's it's over in the ribbon section near the cutting table. You let them know you're looking for faux vinyl. You can you can whip these up, fam. It does not take long. And this is super cute too with a uh, orange faux vinyl in the background. I'm gonna have to make a couple more with uh, a couple of other colors to see how cute it turns out with that background. Um, but just get you some clear vinyl, not the thin wispy stuff. This is kind of a, a little bit thicker vinyl, kind of like. This is about the thickness that you would cover and only the older folks would know what I'm talking about. Like you would cover the furniture with. Um, it was thick enough where it was safe and folks could sit on it, but it was thin enough where it flexed when folks sat on it and it molded to the shape of the couch. Okay. That's what we're talking about. Um, and you can get it at Joann's. Um, you probably can get it from Hobby Lobby as well, but I did not get mine from Hobby Lobby. I went to Joann's and got mine. Matter of fact, let me show y'all this real quick and then we'll get off of here. So if you go to Joann's, this is what I bought. Okay, you see that? So this is... This is the faux vinyl with the holographic look to it. See how big this is on the roll? So when you go to Joann's, it's not going to be on like a regular boat. It'll be a roll. It'll be this big. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what size this is. Let me see. I want to say 52 inches, but I'm not, this ain't no 52 inches. What am I saying? Hold on. This is... 36 inches okay so this is how long it is um and you can buy it by the yard that was the back of my keychain in the front and then the clear vinyl they had two different kind they had this yellow um it has the yellow tissue paper and then they had this one with the green tissue paper okay you see that well green stuff on it now, this one was thinner. You can still use this, and this would still work. But to me, it wasn't as... The reason why I did not choose this one, even though I know it will work, is because when I look at the surface of it, it's kind of like, has like a wrinkle, a little bit of a wrinkle texture to it, probably because of how thin it is, whereas this one is just, there's no wrinkle to this at all. It's very solid and straight and clear so this is the one that i used tonight with our key fobs you can use either one either one will work they have one thinner than this i would not recommend that at all they they did have one thinner but i wouldn't recommend that one um so and as you see these are much taller so these are if i'm by five these are like four and a half foot tall rolls and you can buy it by the yard okay now i'm probably gonna cut these down because this is team too much i can't do all of that whoops but i did purchase this so that's what i used tonight for our project and again um i appreciate y'all the design came from um off with their threads and the link is in the description below it wasn't hard to work so far, Miss Joyce. It was just a learning curve for me because the the um, it was different interface. That's all. The rest of the machine, threading the machine, putting the machine together, changing out the throat plate, changing out the the bobbin case, um, all of that was easy because the mechanics of a embroidery machine work the same, no matter what brand you go with, for the most part. All of those mechanics are going to be the same. Attaching the embroidery arm part, all of that's the same. But it's the display and what their instructions and stuff look like on the little touchpad keypad. Um, knowing how to upload the design, all of that stuff. A lot of the icons are about the same, but just knowing where to look for that. That was a little bit different. 
Um, so learning that was the difference. But other than that, no, it was, it was a pretty simple machine. Um, so thank you. You got a oh, Walmart carries the clear vinyl on the roll too. So that's good to know. That's good. Though. So yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with us tonight and make this super easy money maker because it will make money because it's super duper cute. Okay. Folks love stuff. That's super cute. And you can easily get little doodads like this. They're called, um, polymer clay, um, pieces that you can get. Um, Amazon has some. Um, I'll go on Amazon and try and find uh, a search for this and put it in my store so that you can find some really cute stuff that can go in your shaker keychains because I do intend to do some more shaker um, projects with you guys in coming months with Yanni um, and the 4x4 embroidery machine. Okay. So thank y'all so much for coming to hang out with us tonight. Don't forget you have about 10 days before the next buy-in. Also, don't forget that um, Rhinestone Mechanic, the link is in the description below. You have 24 hours. His designs are adorbs this week. Adorbs. Go check them out, um, especially in the mystery box. And then um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Uh, won't be too much longer, and we'll start shipping out this past buy-in orders. So definitely keep an eye out for that. We need we we still got some stones we're waiting on, so it'll probably be another roughly ten days, and we'll start shipping out. So around about the time we start the next buy-in, we'll start shipping out, and that's usually how it works out anyway. Um, and as, as long as everything goes well and we get everything like we're supposed to. Um, and then aside from that, if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to us via email um, or the instant chat on well, the website is the buy-in is closed right now. So, but at any rate, thank y'all for coming to hang out with me and Yanni and I'll make sure to post a picture in our Facebook group. So if you have any other questions, hit me up. Meanwhile, we hope you have a great evening. Thank you for coming to hang out with us. And until the next time we see you. We hope you have happy embroidering. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been able to say that. So happy to be able to say it again. Have a good night. Bye. How would you define luxury? Your purchase of our rhinestones has put extravagance right at your fingertips. Here at the baby's booty, we are taking the standard of luxury and bringing it directly to you. Introducing the perfect companion to your Lux rhinestones, the Baby's Booty Ice Boxes. Our ice boxes are in the perfect sizes to complement your order. Each color in your purchase will be labeled and packaged in these elegant acrylic boxes ready to display your luxury stones for everyone to see. The Baby's Booty Icebox, where our bling is the finer thing.